Hi everyone, Imran here with another step-by-step -step tutorial on how to set up ADB and Passboot drivers on your Windows PC in just 15 seconds. ADB and Passboot are essential tools for Android developers and enthusiasts who want to modify their Android devices like unlocking the bootloader, flashing patch magic file, installing custom recovery and rooting your phone. In this video, I will show you two methods for installing these drivers using Google Platform Tools and the 15 second ADB installer. As usual, I have written a guide as well on our website progeeksblog.com with all the download links required to installing the ADB drivers properly. The first method we will go over is using Google Platform Tools to install the ADB and Passport drivers. First, we need to download the Google Platform Tools. You can do this by going to the official Google Developer website. Once you are on the web page, scroll down and click on the Download SDK Platform Tools for Windows. Scroll down, accept the terms and conditions, then click on the Download button. Once the download is complete, extract the files from the zip folder to a location on your desktop. Create a folder called Android Tools and extract the files there. Before we can use ADB and Passboot, we need to enable USB debugging on the Android device. To do this, go to the Settings app on your phone, then go to Developer Options and toggle on USB debugging. Next, connect your Android device to PC using a USB cable. Make sure that the device is in file transfer mode. Now, open the platform tools folder. Now, we need to open the command prompt. To do this, press the shift key on your keyboard and then right click on open command prompt here. Alternatively, you can also type CMD in the address bar at and hit enter key on the keyboard and it will also open the command prompt. Now you can test ADB commands if they are working properly. Type ADB devices and hit enter. Now as you can see my device is connected. Now, to test the fastboot commands, I will reboot my phone fastboot mode by typing adb reboot bootloader and hit enter. Now, this will boot your device into fastboot mode. Now, my device is in fastboot mode as you can see. Now, I will type fastboot devices. And as you can see, my device is connected. Now I will type fastboot reboot to reboot my phone. This confirms that ADB and fastboot drivers has been properly installed on your computer. The second method we will go over is using the 15 second ADB installer. This is quicker and easier method than using Google platform tools. First we need to download the 15 second ADB installer file. You can do this by going to the following website. Now here is the official thread. Scroll down. And here is the download link. Double click on the ADB setup. Do you want to install the ADB and fast boot? Type PS and hit enter key. 
install adb system wide yes if you want to run adb commands from anywhere on your pc then you need to install the adb system wide so i will type y yes do you want to install device drivers yes now it will install the device driver as well now it's done in this video we went our two methods for installing these drivers using google platform tools and using the 15 second adv installer both methods are fairly simple and straightforward but the 15 second adb installer is a quicker and easier method whichever method you choose make sure to enable usb debugging on your device before connecting it to your computer thank you for watching i hope this video has been helpful in setting up adb and fastboot drivers on your windows computer